Hello, and welcome to another episode of Christine's Coloring. Uh, today was actually supposed to be uh, the day we closed on the house, but we're having some paperwork issues. Uh, so that is, but that is basically why we're doing uh, a video on a Wednesday versus a, the normal Thursday because I had taken off of work and swap days uh, to have today off and work tomorrow. Uh, to do the closing and I couldn't take that back <laughs> once we moved the closing. Yikes! Anyway, um, today we are going to color a picture out of um, Cute Little Mermaids or Cute Mermaids uh, by Jade Summer and we're actually going to use my Starjoy pencils this time. Um, I have just freshly swatched all of them and I am ready to try them out. I haven't used them yet. So, uh, but first Thing, I wanted to show you what a, a color like a color chart or swatch swatch book is so um, I got this also off of Amazon by Jade Summer uh, it's called color charts all of your colors in one place and the only ones I've gotten done are the castle arts and the star joys um, but you got your introduction page um, and then here's my castle arts and a lot of people do their color swatching, or their their they're just their swatching in general, um, by the values. I do it by uh, the rainbow, basically. Uh, I just find it easier for me. Uh, so if you start swatching your colors, your colored pencils, your markers, whatever, your crayons, um, do what's best for you. Uh, try a couple things out. Um, I sure did, and it looks a mess. Anyway, so I'm sticking with this, and I'm sticking with this in this book. And then, of course, on the last page here, there's a lot of extra ones, and I don't want to mix the separate, um, different, you know, the different types of pencils together. Uh, so what I did is I left room for combos, and I found I had two combos here, and this is kind of mixing the pencils a little bit, but the, it's okay, it's okay, because the combos are cool. cool. Uh, but this one's just a plain Castle Arts combo uh, with uh, Orange Lake, Flesh Light, and Flesh Deep. And you see kind of like the light, the medium, and the dark value. Now this one I have found that the Arteza's Ginger goes best with Castle Arts, Burt Sienna, and Walnut Brown. Um, I think that would be really cool on some fur. It makes some really cute uh, animals. Cute critters. But anyway, here's the Star Joys. And if you'll notice, um, I did specifically make, you know, mark these. And then, of course, don't mind the writing. I'm a terrible handwriter sometimes, especially when I'm in a hurry. Um, but I I'm kind of mark these as oils, and I'll do the same thing with my polychromos and any other oil pencils, I think. The Brute Fooners. And because I, I just kind of want to, like, keep in the back of my mind which ones are oil and which ones are wax. Even though some of the wax will mix with the oils. Um... I'd like to see, in the future, like to do a video on which oils work best together. Because um, I've, I've already found some waxes that'll work really great with each other. Um, but anyway, on the back page of the Star Joys, like I said, I had never used them before, so I didn't really have a combo. But as I was swatching them, I found that three colors looked really, really cute together. Uh, light ink blue, violet, and purple blue uh, seemed to come, you know, with a really nice medium our light, medium, and dark value. I really liked how those turned out. So those will be, that'll be a combo I save. Anyway, on to the book that we're going to be doing the picture from. If you're interested in getting the book, I got it off of Amazon, Cute Mermaids by Jade Summer. I believe I did a review on it not too long ago. Um, probably the last video. <laughs> but if you're really interested in it, just uh, hit up Amazon. I don't make any money off of this. They didn't send me the book for free or anything like that. I just really like the book. And this is like my second mermaid picture I'm getting ready to do. So I really, really like the book. Anyway, um, just some observations about the Star Joys as I was swatching them out today. Um, we'll go over what we're going to use on our hair first. And then I'll show you what the, not complaint, but what the concern is. So, but anyway, the first color we're going to use and and I just one of the things I really loved about the Star Joys is just their their array of pinks uh, I noticed that both them and Castle Arts kind of have similar number of pinks or pinkish colors versus you know the other colors and similar names too um, 
So I got to see if they're made by the same manufacturer and just one's a wax and one's an oil. But we'll we'll find out. Um, anyway, the first one we're going to do, and like I said, we're going to do her hair in pink, will be Opera Rose, number 84. And I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, it is in silver, but it is Opera Rose, number 84. I don't know if I can get that to... Yeah, no, it's not going to really... Zoom in. <laughs> and then Azalea Pink, number 97. And that, um, the Opera Rose will be my light tone. The Azalea will be like another semi-light tone. And then my medium tone will actually be Purple Light, number 87. And trust me, it's very pinkish purple. Very, very pink. And then my dark tone will be Peach Purple, which is, I thought, a very unique uh, name for the color and it's actually a really pretty color too and it's a uh, number 89 and like I said the observation or I mentioned earlier the observation I'm gonna make about the star joys while I was swatching them and like I said I've not used these yet ever and you can see that this is a lot shorter than this one and that is because in the doll 133 I had seven pencils break uh, two of them twice so what my observation is is I don't think the doll 133 is actually going to be good for the star joys we're going to find out um because as we color you know naturally i'm going to wear them down a little bit and need to put in a new point so what i'm thinking i'm going to do is find out if the derwent uh, battery powered will help stave off the breakage we'll see anyway let's get to working on this cute little mermaid here and I'm just gonna kind of go from the top down um, mostly because the the lightest light value I'm gonna have as her highlight color in her hair I mean I know the Sun's either rising or setting I haven't decided yet I think I'm gonna go with rising but we'll decide later we're just doing our hair today and so what I do or what I learned to do and this actually wasn't on, I don't think it was on Pamela's. I think it was another lady's I watched on YouTube. Like one of the very first videos I ever watched on doing um, like manga hair was just do the entire thing in your lightest value and lay down that first layer. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And we're going to have a good time today. It's been a nice relaxing Wednesday because most people don't expect me to be off on a Wednesday. So they're not really like, hey, come do this. Hey, can you do that? Hey, you know, can you run this errand? Um, hey, we need this paperwork. Hey, we need that done. We need this done. You know, yada, yada, yada. You know, hey, can you give me a ride? I mean, I feel blessed in that I have a lot of family and some friends. That I really love and adore, uh, but they really uh, book me up on my days off, so I don't really necessarily get a day off, and that's kind of why I picked coloring. I thought it would be relaxing, even if I only get to do it for about an hour or so a day. As long as I get to do it a little bit every day, I'll be very happy and uh, a little bit more relaxed. I was getting pretty stressed out because. Everybody needs their day off to do whatever they want to do, not just sit there and run errands and take people places and do chores and whatnot and whine about it on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, I will go on and drone on since I'm filming a video. Uh, normally when I'm coloring uh, by myself, I'm pretty damn quiet. <laughs> so... Not a big talker. I usually have the music up a lot louder. Um, I might talk with the birds when they when they get uh, loud and chirpy and talky themselves. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, I, I want a too, little too light down here at the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and fill it up a little bit more. I mean, I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but I can barely see it in person. So I'm going to go just a little bit darker. Not a whole lot darker. I like this mermaid. I mean, I know I said I probably, I know, I think I said in the last video, the review video of the book, I didn't really care for her. But the more I looked at her, 
the more I liked her. I liked her hair, and I liked the fact that she had fins coming out of her arm, which is is different. Um, you don't get that a lot. Usually, the mermaids are pretty much human on top and fish on the bottom. So, I was like, well, you know, she's actually kind of cute. So let's try her. And as I got to swatching the the Star Joys, I was like, oh, I gotta use these on her and see how it turns out. So far, they feel pretty good laying down. I really kind of like the feel. Uh, they put a good amount of pigment down, as long as you're not like super, super duper light, like I was a minute ago. Also, too, while I'm doing this you know, all over color. I kind of look for where I'm going to put some shadowing and some shading. And man, this girl's got some hair. Girl, you need a haircut. <laughs> Ooh, she got a lot of hair. But I'm hoping it turns out really pretty in the pinkish purple tones that I've kind of chosen for her. And as you can see, the, the point is still there, you know, as I even as I turn my pencil. Uh, but, yeah, we've used enough pigment that I'll probably have to sharpen here shortly. So we can see how the Derwent works. Watch the batteries we did. <laughs> I haven't used that thing in, mo in a month since I got the doll. Because I really love that doll 133. Uh, Pamela was 110% right about how great that sharpener is. And when someone's kind of raving about something they like, you know, yeah, I want to try it. I want to see if they're right. So, got me one and I kind of like it. Kind of like it a lot. There we go. I don't know what I'm going to do so much for her skin because the the Star Joys came just like the, the Castle Arts with two... Well, the Castle Arts had three flesh colors, but the Star Joys had two. I think it's flesh and flesh deep. Like, oh, come on. We got to have some more var variety and variation there. Okay, let's go ahead and try this one. Now, I don't push down. I just kind of hold it in there and hope for the best. It actually gives a shorter point than the doll, but it didn't break. Okay. Well, we'll see on the other colors. Okay, so then the next lightest value, and I'm going to kind of like come in here and I'm going to draw kind of like a really light outline of where I want her highlight to be. And I think we're going to come down here. I don't know if you could see that on camera. See where they kind of drew a line. And I know some people... I thought about doing it here too, but I just think I kind of like it here. And I might do another one. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do another one here. Let's start it... Right about here. And kind of end it there. And then... Just kind of bring it down. And don't worry, this does work. It get worked out. And actually, you know what? I think I'm going to actually bring it here. And that's why I go really lightly because you never know when you might change your mind about where you're going to have it. Or whether it's going to stay in that square or not. <laughs> so, then of course the other line will disappear after a few layers of the other colors and then those lines will disappear too eventually as we get more layers down but yeah I think that's how I want her highlight right there to go I might do another one here what the hey and I like to kinda like try to map them out a little bit there we go and go Sometimes on some of them, instead of just drawing the lines, I kind of like just go ahead and put a little bit of pressure on the 
next to lightest value. Kind of like a guide. So that's two different ways you can mark your value or your uh, highlights, mark your values. Uh, and then just kind of come up in here. And it's okay if you go over the line a little bit, it's not gonna hurt anything. You can work everything out. Everything can work out. And then this will be another one that I do all over, uh, just because it's another light value. It's, and then just in case you were wondering the reason I have the light, you know, I have the four and I have a really light value is because I don't really like highlights of just white paper. I know there's quite a few colorists who do. They enjoy uh, using white, the white of the paper to kind of bring out a highlight. Me, I kind of like to put some color in it. But I don't want to put a lot of color in it, you know what I mean? Just enough to kind of make it look colorful. And so that's why I'll pick like a super light value. And then go in with this light value over it. On the parts that I'm not going to highlight. But I like getting that first layer down because then the other layers just go on so much more smoother. And I'm really liking these Star Joys too. And then of course once I do this all over one, we're just going to do one section over here because I don't want the video to be too long or to get boring for you guys. Um, even though I've kind of designed the videos to be like a color along. So if you have this, you know, you can definitely pick your own colors and color along with me. Or you can use the same colors, whatever you want to do. Like I said, this is just me learning to do stuff from other YouTubers and other people who color like in face group, Facebook groups and stuff. And I, I tend to mention them by name um, because I do want them to have their credit. Like I have not watched Coloring Bliss in forever. I need to start watching her. I got hooked on Pam, Pamela. <laughs> she is just such a sweet lady and she does such good videos. Now, the lady in Coloring Bliss does too. I really love her videos. Um, maybe someday I'll grow up and be like them. Who knows? Man, these really go nice. There was one blue one that I was using while I was swatching. That Man, it was smooth like butter. It kind of reminded me of the Prismacolor wax pencils. Speaking of, um, Amazon had them on sale. Uh, they had been down to $86 when I went ahead and got another set which in hindsight I really shouldn't have but I was like you know what I'm gonna give them another chance and see if I mean I already get it the 80 some dollar ones are secondhand sets I get it and I'm really not upset about it you know because it's just like overstock and then like expect some of the barrels to be a little bit off color or uh, even a little bit chewed up fine Okay, I'm cool with that as long as it doesn't affect the performance of the pencil. The problem is when I got the second set, uh, as soon as I opened it, I was like, oh, yay, new pencils. I'm so excited. And then as I'm replacing them um, into the box, into my pencil holders, you know, and taking out the old Prismas, I started seeing cracked barrels, broken tips, off color uh, pigment. And I was just so sad because $86 is still 86 flipping dollars, people. I mean, I expect better quality out of these Star Joys, which were quite frankly, $27 pencils. So you can imagine what kind of quality I expect out of a Prisma collar. Anyway, I did two things. I went on Amazon and immediately got my return receipt and put all of the new ones back into the rocks and then I went to Kohl's today and returned them to get my money back if I'm going to spend some money on Prisma colors actually I did three things <clears throat> I want first quality sets so I went ahead and sprung 
for a full set at full price. I want to see, <clears throat> excuse me, what those look like. I want to see if those look any better, if the quality is any better, because I've been hearing a lot of rumors how the quality has gone down uh, since Prismacolor kind of moved their operations down south. We'll just say that. Down south where my GM job went over 10 years ago. So, well, heck, way over 10 years ago. Probably about 14. Well, anyway, <laughs> that's politics. Let's get out of that. <clears throat> But anyway, so I went to uh, Blick, DickBlick.com, I think it's called. It's, it's Blick Arts. And um, that's where I ordered the full size set of my own. I want to see what are the full price set. I want to see what they look like. I want to see if they're any better quality or if they have the same issues as the cheapies. If they do, well, then we know the problem. There we go nice point again a little bit shorter than the doll though all right and then uh before we go on and on about the rambling about the prismas let's go to our medium value which i'm going to put in some places like just a little bit underneath the highlights and then behind the highlights and things like that just like this and of course, nice light pressure. God, these feel good. I really like these guys. And then I'm gonna do it up here too. And again, don't worry if you get a little bit into your highlight, it's not gonna hurt anything, I promise. And sometimes too, when I'm doing hair, I usually get a polychromos out and do like single strands, but we're not gonna do that. That's too fancy. That is just too dang on fancy today. Okay, and then there we go. And a lot of the medium will cover, or the medium will cover a lot of hair. Anyway, back to the Prismas. The final thing I did was I wrote to Newell and I said, Look, I bought a set in February and they cracked and they split and they broke in fact one split so bad that it the barrel separated from the pigment completely and i wasn't taking a chance with that second set of that happening again so i was like i don't know what's going on but it's way past the return date for my first set of prismas to return them because i was too busy having fun using up my zena color and my crayolas uh, before I would dig into the Prismas. I wanted to kind of use up the other sets. And then imagine my surprise when I finally get the Prismas out. And I'm like, yay, we're going to organize them. And I didn't know about swatching them, so I didn't swatch them. Uh, but we're going to organize them, and we're going to sharpen them, and we're going to have a good time with them. They're going to be buttery soft. And, of course, the, the first couple that I brought out, you know, when I first started, they were buttery soft and smooth. Oh, my gosh. So good. I really did love them. And then they started breaking. And I was like, I could send you pictures. I mean, my dark green is, like, non-existent. Non-existent. Because it's broken so many times. And I've only used it maybe three times. Because it breaks so much, it just frustrates the snot out of me. So I quit using it, and I look into the grays to kind of replace it. Which, luckily, those don't break as much. But they wrote back, and they said, hey, just send us pictures. And we're going to send you a replacement product. Now, they didn't, like, specify what the replacement product would be. Whether it would be, you know, like just the dark green or just the ones that broke or will it be a full set? Will it be, you know, the, the big set? Will it be a medium set, a small set? We'll find out because uh, they said expect the delivery to be in about 10 to 15, 14 days, 10 to 15 days, somewhere around there. I'd have to look at the email. So I also like to, you know, back to the coloring, I like to put in some of the medium value where I'm going to put dark value uh, just to make it 
you know, in the places where it's going to be really dark. Like in here. Behind her ear and under her ear and behind her earrings and stuff. Because it's going to be really dark back there. And one of these days, I promise, I want to experiment with more than one hair, more than one color on here. You know, beyond like using orange and yellow together. <laughs> or some blues and greens. Or like gray and silver. And they aren't really different colors. <laughs> so. Alright, do some more medium values right here. I actually kind of want to extend the medium value out right here. And then I think we'll just do this section right here and finish it up. In fact, yeah, let's go ahead and stop that. <laughs> stop putting the medium in there. Because this video has already been 25 minutes. Oh, that's pretty. And it's not loose. Awesome. It's that last one I'm worried about. All right, now our darkest value will be the peach purple, uh, number 89. All right, and then we'll just get in here behind her ear. Nice light pressure for two reasons, because this one's broken so much, and because I just, I like to layer. And oil-based pencils, um, I have learned, uh, the hard way, despite being told several times, uh, by all kinds of YouTubers, that they work best if you just do lots and lots of layers like we're not talking 50 layers of course you know I'm thinking six eight ten at max just depending on what you're coloring and here as you can already tell because we've we've already put four layers down so you know another round of the same colors and you're gonna be good as gold so it's really it's it's sounds worse than it really is so, I mean, seriously, it does. I'm not kidding. It's not that bad. Then we'll put a little bit here. I don't want it to go too high. But I don't want it to go under her shoulder either. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm bringing it down a little bit. My fault. That's okay. Like I said, I'm a big talker when I'm doing the videos. And, of course, that leads to me not paying attention. So let's get back up here. There we go. See, that's already looking really cute. I think she's going to be really sweet with pink hair. And that doesn't look like it needs sharpened yet. And then even though you won't see it, I'm just going to go ahead. Because like I said, you just do another round of fours and you've got eight layers. They'll just be different colors. And then what I do with these is I just kind of start pulling down the darker, or the, the darker color, what I do with the lightest color is pull down the darker colors. I've learned so much off of these other videos. Oh my gosh, if you guys are not watching other videos, you need to get out there now. I mean, I love making videos and I want you to watch mine, but uh, at the same time too, you're gonna learn so much more um, watching a variety. Like I even watch LaCree Art, Fine Arts, and I mean, she's like super professional, so. I am not even close to her league, and I like to watch some of her stuff. Like, she'll do hours, you know, hour and a half long, two hour long videos of, you know, her media, whatever she's using at the time. And then she'll do some short little videos and some reviews and stuff. She's really, she's really good, and she's really a sweetie. I like her. So, here we go with the... The Azalea Pink, number 97. Just kind of filling in. At this point, we're just kind of like starting to fill in the white of the paper. Look at that. See? Compared to the other side. Oh, this look is so cute. And then, of course, you can see like my medium value has been kind of like washed out. But that's okay. We are going to fix it here shortly. And then I'm also, I think if it's sharpened, it is. I am going to see if my Prismacolor Colorless Blender does anything. Usually on the oil pencils it doesn't. Um, but I did find it does on the Brute Fooners. It works on them. So I'm going to try them on the Star Joys too. And just keep in mind these Star jo Joys are budget pencils. They're budget friendly pencils. They're, you know, like 20, 30 bucks max, maybe. Um, I'd have to look at my receipt to see how much I paid for them. But it really wasn't very much at all. 
and they're just nice pencils and that's why I'm saying I'm not complaining about you know several of them breaking in my doll 133 um I never really complained 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 about the prismas until is this a star joy Oh no, that's polychromos. Um, I never really complained about my prismas till I discovered that they're they broke in every one of my pencil sharpeners. And I mean, I've got all kinds of different types. I've got the doll one thirty three, which is that helio whatever, and then I've got you know the battery powered one Derwent. And then I've got one that says Prisma Color on it. That's a hand. I'm turning, and they broke all the time in that one too. And it's it just drove me nuts. And I finally started whining <laughs> to everybody. So anyway, back to the Star Joys. They're very budget friendly. Um, and so far, I'm loving how they lay down. I mean, I really like how these feel. They're doing a fantastic job of laying pigment down and pulling down, you know, darker pigment and just kind of blending. They're blending really beautifully, I think even in my limited light and wait till I get to the house guys. Um, I'm going to light this place, my little workspace up like a Christmas tree. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> it's going to be so awesome, but I kind of like bringing the colors together. Now, as you can see, we're going to leave that just slightly light, but not really light. And as you can see, the white of the paper is almost pretty much gone in the places where the four colors have been laid down twice. You know, and then we're back to the peach purple, which is my darkest value. I love learning the terms. I'm not going to even lie. <laughs> I mean, I've been coloring since I was a kid. You know, obviously not in a professional manner. It's never been professional. And I always use these kind of, you know, the markers, crayons, or colored pencils, whatever I'm using. In the same way, I always use a light color, and then a mid-tone, and then a dark color, but I never knew what it was called. And it's still kind of fun to, you know, learn that, you know, it's a light value, a medium value, and a dark value. Mid-tones, dark tones, light tones. It's finally, just a name for what I'm doing. There. I think I'm actually going to bring this just a little bit darker right in here. But you see how it's still kind of different? I don't know if you can notice in the video. Um, it's still just slightly different from the darkest points. And then here we'll just go ahead. And now I'm going to just kind of do circles in place. Not quite a medium pressure, but not quite a light pressure on here. Because I just kind of want to like fill in the the white of the paper. So I'm going to hold it up a little bit closer, but I finally learned to stop being so heavy handed. So I know how to do kind of like a medium, light to medium pressure and just fill in the, the paper. Get rid of that white whiteness. Cause I really don't like using that. And these are so smooth. Look how, oh, they are creating some crumbs. Where's my brush? Not very many crumbs though. The Brute Fooners do a lot more crumbs. They have a lot more unique colors, though. I, I like that. That's why I'm hoping the two will get along. Let's pull this dark color down a little bit. And, I mean, it's really... One of the things I learned, because at first I was scoffing at pull the color down, pull the dark color down, yada, 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 blend this, blend that. At first I was kind of scoffing at it because I didn't see the difference. It's, but as I started trying it, you still don't really see the differences like on a video camera like here, but you see the differences in person. You see where the colors start blending together a lot better. And you see, you know, the darker values getting pulled down. It's just ever so slight. And I'm so glad that I went ahead and gave it a try because I really do enjoy it ever so slight and I just kind of put like a medium pressure on it to help bring them down and of course too oh don't you use your finger <laughs> there we go yeah got a little bit on her earring 
which is fine because you can work that out too. I tried Pamela's tip of using the Posca pen, but I didn't like how that turned out because when you colored back over it, it kind of like still left a mark. You know what I mean? Anyway, I think that'll be it for now. I might fine tune it up a little bit by adding a little bit of shading in here, you know, in these parts. Well, let's go ahead and do that with the medium value. No, let's do the dark value. Let's see how that looks. And I'm going super light because I don't want it to really be super noticeable. You know what I mean? There we go. That kind of looks cute. Okay, a little bit more right here. That kind of looks cute. Kind of looks like her hair is folding forward. I like it. Okay, I'm going to put some dark value right here. I love taking my time. It's just really cool. So, all right. Well, hey, thanks for joining my channel today. Um, I hope you uh, learned something. And, you know, be sure to comment below if you did learn anything. Uh, be sure also to comment below or ask questions. Um, but what do you want to see? Uh, I want to start working on some more variety. Uh, I do work only with colored pencils or the ohu markers. I will work with those. I can do a picture of just those if you want me to. I can't guarantee it's going to look pretty, <laughs> but I can do it if you want. And um, also, too, subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video today. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one.